Hey again, Leah. I thought I would go ahead and record a short video that you could use um, to help you learn how to grade by question in Colab. So what you're looking at here, this is actually the overview page for my lecture course, right? 3410 Human Anatomy and Physiology. This is what we would call the landing page. I'm sure you're familiar with that. Since you're going to be grading a particular quiz for me, what you'll do then is go over here in the tools and then you're going to click on tests and quizzes which should pop up like this and then this actually is looking at the published copies which is what you want to look at this is what students actually had seen so from the published copies of the tests and quizzes we want to go to the quiz that's of interest to us and this quiz, we said we were going to go backwards this is 10-4 to 10-8 this is the last quiz that students um, have completed. The other quizzes are still open, so we don't want to grade those yet. You're then going to click on this little button here, and you're going to go to scores. And it'll take a second for it to come up. Okay, now here what you're looking at is scores. So obviously we've got names and computing IDs, and then the time that they spent, and then their overall score here as well. And then here you can add comments if you want. Up here, there's kind of a toolbar that tells you um, different views of what you, or gives you different options of different views, I guess, of looking at this particular assessment. So here, we're looking at total scores. So if we were to go ahead and scroll through, all of the students in the course would be here in alphabetical order by last name, and then their score on the quiz would be here, 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 etc., etc. Um, we don't want to look <coughs> at the total scores. We actually want to look at the individual questions. So we're going to click here on this tab where it says questions. And then here, this tells us that we can um, look at question one or question two. And it's clear from this um, information right here that we're looking at question one. So remember, I told you that this quiz consisted of a pool of two questions that students could access and then provide an answer to. This one is actually auto-graded, and so it's always a good idea to go behind CoLab to be sure that it's graded it the way that we think it should be graded. Okay, so up here at the top, this is the question here, question one. Fill in the blanks with the correct movement at each joint or structure. And then there's a descriptor. If you were to reach out your hand to receive a set of keys from someone, kind of like this, was what I was thinking. The movement of the forearm would be described as extension, and the movement of the hand would be described as supination because you're showing them a uh, palm up. I looked at this, you know, um, quickly a second ago, and some students actually also included abduction. So they're looking at it as though they were reaching out to the side with their palm up to receive the keys. I think that's an acceptable answer, and I'd like to. Um, include that or give credit for that. Okay, so what you'll do then is you're going to look down. These are all the students that had this question and that answered it. And then these are their answers. So here's their name, their computing ID, their role, the date that they took it, the score that they got, and then these are their answers here. Okay, and so we see here, <coughs> as we look here at this particular student, Aditya, she answered extension for the first question, which is correct. And then for the second part of the question, she answered abduction, which we said we also wanted to include as a correct answer. So we'll change this here to one answer. And then we can go on. And I think at the end, it gives us a chance to save. It should save all of the, um, after each entry. The student also, Noor, she had extension and abduction. So we're going to give her credit for this as well, et cetera, et cetera. So this is how you would go ahead and um, grade this by question. Let's say we did this. We go all the way through and we're finished with question one. Now we can go to question two. And now you're going to see the same thing um, for all the students that received the second question as their quiz. So here is the question, look up in the sky. If you were to turn your head to the left and look up in the sky, the two movements of the head would be described as rotation or lateral rotation or left rotation and hyperextension. 
Now this quiz is a little bit different because there's not a particular order. We're describing two um, actions at the same place. So the students can have either of these in either place. So they can say hyperextension first and then rotation, or their answer is still correct if they say rotation or lateral rotation and then hyperextension. So we just want to be sure that that's what students have answered. So again, this student here answered rotation, which is correct, and extension, which is not actually correct because it's hyperextension when you look upwards. Okay. So we don't need to make any adjustment there. Here, this student, Cameron, actually had hyperextension and left rotation. They got it correct. So we go rotation, extension, extension, extension. This is the one. So Patrick actually had hyperextension, but he misspelled extension. He used a T instead of an S. I would give him credit for that because he just missed it by one letter. And so we entered that as well. Okay, and then as we move on, I think that should save. Let's just be sure. It did save. And then you will go all the way through, and I believe after each one it will save it. Let's just scroll to the bottom, and then there's an and a button here. You click Save, and that should save everybody's. And so this is kind of the quick and dirty description of how you grade the quiz by question.